The second Marcus, Robert Stewart, better known as Lord Castlereagh, was born in Dublin on the 16th of June 1769. He was educated at the Royal School in Armagh and attended Oxford University. His father encouraged him to go into politics and he was elected to the Irish Parliament in 1790. In 1794, he married Amelia Hobart, daughter of John Hobart, 2nd Earl of Buckinghamshire. They did not have any children. Kessaray became an essential advisor in Irish affairs to the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, who was based in Dublin Castle. In 1794, he was offered the government control seat in Cornwall and he entered the British Houses of Parliament in Westminster. He was appointed Chief Secretary for Ireland in 1798, representing the views of Dublin Castle in the British House of Commons. In 1796, when the French invasion of Ireland failed at Bantry Bay, Casseray was one of the leaders of the militia to stop the French. He played a key role in quashing the Irish Rebellion in 1798. As a consequence, he was not popular with some in Ireland and in 1799 he began lobbying in the Irish and British parliaments for an official union between Britain and Ireland. In 1800 an Act of Union uh, was passed in the British uh, Parliament uniting Great Britain and Ireland, creating the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. He was a leading politician during the Napoleonic Wars and was central to the management of the coalition of European countries to defeat Napoleon. He had persuaded King George III to appoint Arthur Wellesley head of the British Army. It was only after the appointment of Wellesley, who later became the first Duke of Wellington, that the war against France was won. After the defeat of the French and imprisonment of Napoleon, the Congress of Vienna was convened and chaired by Castle Ray. This was to return lands and property which Napoleon had seized and to redraw the map of Europe to ensure peace amongst the European states. In recognition of his work in Ireland and as a foreign secretary, settling the wars of independence in America and the Napoleonic Wars, Casseray was considered to be Britain's greatest diplomat, holding the highest offices of state in the British government. He was made a Knight of the Garter in 1814. He held the following offices of state. Chief Secretary for Ireland, President of the Board of Control, Secretary of State for War and the Colonies, and Leader of the House of Commons and at the same time Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs. He was severely overworked with both his responsibilities in leading the government in the House of Commons and the ever-ending diplomacy. In 1822 he began to suffer from paranoia and had a nervous breakdown. On the 12th of August 1822 Aloha's wife had succeeded in removing a razor from his possession and his doctor in attendance. Castle Ray managed to find a penknife and committed suicide by cutting his own throat. He had succeeded his father on the 6th of April 1821 as the second Marcus of Londonderry. After his death in 18. 22, he was buried in Westminster Abbey. A statue was erected in his memory in the Abbey. <laughs>